Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing a knockoff based on the 1980s Generation 1 Silver Bolt. One of the Aerial Bot Combiners. And yes, I'm collecting more Generation 1 because it's an awesome toy line. And this is a knockoff version of it, but otherwise a good looking knockoff version. That I'm just so stoked to have for the collection because I don't have the original one. But this is still pretty cool for a knockoff. I'm definitely going to transform it and show you what it looks like in vehicle mode. So you're seeing what it's like in vehicle mode. In a minute, let's look at the details on this thing. The landing gears are well detailed. The gold chrome is well detailed. Plastic chrome. And it is missing the tail fin, which is a real shame. I don't even have his original gun either. But otherwise, he's mostly there. And he rolls. Pretty well for an aerial bot knockoff. Before we get on to transforming it, let's do some comparisons with some other 1980s Transformers I own. Here are the Generation 1 Jump Starters. As you know, I love these things. They're a lot of fun. They auto morph and transform, and they're just so much fun. Next, we have some mini bot action. Here we got Generation 1 Gears, and Generation 2 Warpath. So I am hunting down more of these Generation 1 Autobots and Decepticons. But now that we're done with comparisons, let's get down to transforming it, which is very simple. Fold up the landing gear. This can thing is getting in the way a lot. Fold this down. Flip back the arms we're gonna take off the gun I gave him because he needs a gun on the shelf flip out the arm like so if I can get it to work oh yeah the way I was doing it would, would have breaking it huh flip down the leg rotate second verse just like the first this is almost exactly identical to the 1980s toy flip this down to reveal the robot mode head, flip this part up on the hinge, and there we got a silver bolt style figure in his robot mode, which looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. He looks pretty good for a knockoff. But yeah, I don't have the other Aerial Bot knockoffs to go with this figure, but otherwise he's pretty good. And we're going to transform these guys off camera. Transform these guys because they just pop and jump. Now we're going to get down to comparisons. We're going to pull back on this guy. And here we got the comparisons with the other two... Autobots I own. These are the Jump Starters. Top Spin and War... Well, Top Spin. Twin Twist and Top Spin. Sorry, they're easy to get names confused. But they are the Generation 1 Jump Starters. <laughs> yeah. I've got quite a few of these already, but I'm still hunting down more for my vintage collection of 1980s. But now we're going to transform some other figures for comparisons. So your Silver Bolt is bigger than the Jump Starters. Otherwise, he is complete vehicle mode except for one little piece. But here is a Generation 1 Gears. Still smaller than the rest, rest of these guys because these are small figures. Now we're going to transform Warpath off camera. Okay, come on, Warpath. Come on, Warpath. Sorry, he's a bit stubborn, so I'm afraid I'm going to break him at times. He's so tight and stubborn. But here is Generation 1 Warpath. 
And yeah, not a bad little collection of 1980s Transformers. Do I highly recommend these to any Transformers fan? Yes, they are a lot of fun to transform and a lot of fun to display. And I'm definitely so glad to have these figures in my collection. And this knockoff ain't completely terrible either. He's pretty good. And he'll look good on my shelf with my other G1 Autobots. I don't even care he's a knockoff. I really don't. If I ever get the official one, I'll get rid of him. But for now, he's staying in the collection for a very, very long time. And this is Eddie Hill. Before I say move on and rock on and rock out, Today is our trip to Monroeville Exchange, and we're hoping to find some epic action figures. Now it's Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.